Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my daughter's nursery. I've been binge watching videos like this for probably the past week. Those of you who are unfamiliar with me or my daughter, my daughter. Yes, tell them. My daughter just turned 13 months today, actually. I remember on my TikTok when she was maybe just a month old, I did a quick little overview of the nursery, but now I'm gonna go into depth. A lot of things have changed, obviously, since she's older. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing what her nursery looks like, keep watching. walk into the door what you see directly in front of you so this is actually a new addition to her room I added it less than a week ago I got this cheap little cubby organizer from Target it was only $35 and I wanted to turn that into a bookshelf for her all of her books used to be stored in her closet but it took up way too much space so as an alternative I got these cubby organizers honestly it probably should not be used as a bookshelf because all of her books are set up at the height of her so she constantly stands up and rips them all down so I'm gonna try to figure something out with that maybe get another shelf for the wall and move all of her books there so she can't pull them all down but moving on to the cubbies themselves two of them are filled with stuffed animals and the other two are filled with harder toys I guess you could say but like battery powered toys teethers and just stuff like that she's getting tired she got a bunch of new toys for her birthday party and I don't really have room for all of them so I'm kind of just storing them all around the organizer. On the side closest to the door, I keep her stroller with her baby doll in it. I'm not gonna lie, she loves playing with dolls. It's probably one of her favorite toys. Oh, I love you. Yeah, what are you saying yes to? You love me? I have this sitting in front of her organizer. She keeps trying to use it, but I think she's still too little and she can't quite figure it out. But that was a duplicate gift, so I'm trying to figure out what I should do with the other one. It's unopened, it's not even put together yet, but I literally have two of the same exact bikes. And then moving on to the other side, the other basket is pretty much just full of other excess toys that did not have a spot. I regret getting the four cubby shelf. I wish I got the six or the eight because I definitely could use the extra room in here. But against this wall as well, I keep any extra... <laughs> I keep any extra unopened toys and I also have her golf set, which was a must have for my boyfriend because he plays golf all the time. He keeps trying to get me into golf and not my thing. On the wall above the cube organizer is my favorite part of her room. Before I had her, I put all of my sweat and tears and blood into these shelves. I wanted to make them look as cute as possible and be the centerpiece for her room. On the bottom shelf, I have her aesthetic looking books. To be honest, I don't really reach for them because I'm scared to mess up the shelf. But I also have a couple- <coughs> Yeah, what do you wanna say? You wanna say something? I have two or three little letters that were written to me and Kinley, obviously. I just thought they were super cute and they were from people who were super close to me. So I keep them on the shelf as well. My specialty is definitely not keeping plants alive. So I hate to say it, but there is a dead cactus on the shelf. So I should probably replace it. Are you playing with my fat? Did you, get, did you see this? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again, stinker. So eventually that cactus is going to be replaced if I get around to it. But honestly, it's probably just going to stay there for a while because I just know I'm not going to replace it. There is a tiny little bit of an elephant theme in her room. Stop playing with my fat! That hurts! That hurts! The elephant actually used to be in my room, but I thought it fit better in her room. And then I don't even remember where I got the little lamb stuffed animal from, but it is just holding her headphones for when we go to sporting events or anywhere loud. Honestly, she ends up just ripping the headphones off of her, but it's so nice to have in case we need it. Let me grab you a bottle. Let's go get a bottle. Are you standing? There you go. 
Anyways, let's go back to the shelves. On the top shelf, I keep her little wooden K. If you didn't know, my daughter's name is Kinley. So obviously we have to put a K in her room. But next to the K, I also have a dead plant. I don't mean for them to be dead. I just don't ever water them. But it is in a cute little elephant vase. Again, sticking with the elephant theme. I do have plants that do not die. I have a bouquet of fake white flowers. I just think they really pull the room together. One of my literal favorite photos of her is kept on this shelf. The frame that it's in, I got from Target for $3. I didn't even repaint it or anything. I was like, it goes well with the room, so I'm just gonna keep it. And then I also keep her hospital card. It says, it's a girl, has her last name on it. Obviously her birthday and then the doctor. Next to it are two paintings which were done by me. I'm actually really proud of them. My intention was not to put them in here when I was painting them, but they ended up just fitting and I had nowhere else to put them. But I think the color scheme really fits and it goes along really well. The shelves I got at Ikea, I'm not too sure how much they were, but they also did get sold separately. These little leaves were such a last minute add-on. They were on one of my baby shower gifts and I just thought they were way too cute to throw out. So I wanted to put them to use. It also added a really good pop of color in here because everything's very neutral and light. Just don't look too close to them because there is scotch tape holding them up. Just don't pay attention to that. Listen, I was 17 when I created this room, so I had no money. The chair is very comfortable, but it is one of the cheaper options. I think it was like 130 bucks from Target or something like that, which I'm not saying cheap is bad. It's just, it feels cheap, honestly. Like, let me show you this ottoman. Probably um, user error. We probably made it wrong or built it wrong, but it's really nothing special. In the side over here, I just have some books that I read frequently to her. Nothing special going on over here. I don't remember where I got these curtains, but they're not the best. I got these curtains and only these curtains originally. And as you can see, they let an absurd amount of light in. So I also have blackout shades to go over the windows for when it's nap time or bedtime, or we literally just don't want light in here. In the corner behind the rocking chair, we just have a stand-up lamp. It does have five light bulbs in it. Only one of the light bulbs is LED and it's really making me go crazy. So I'm gonna have to fix that at some point. And then I just have a little dream catcher that one of my co-workers got me when we found out I was pregnant. Let's move on past the windows. This elephant hamper is one of my favorite parts of the room. I did laundry before this video started which made me realize I do not need a hamper that big because I don't know about you guys but I don't do laundry until my hamper's full and a hamper this big full of baby clothes is like a month worth of clothes. Probably even more if I'm being honest. So I definitely don't recommend having a hamper that big but it is very cute. You're gonna be really surprised when I tell you where it's from but it's literally from Home Depot. I did not know Home Depot sold things like this, but apparently they do. Really quick before we move on to the crib area, we have this bare glasswork hanging above her crib, but my boyfriend's mom made that for Kinley because she's obsessed with making glasswork stuff. And I think it's really beautiful and it suits her room really well. I was scared that the different colored woods wouldn't go together, but I don't mind it at all. Let's move on to probably Kinley's favorite part of the room. I had the most perfect crib that I wanted and it was out of stock. And I was really disappointed because like it was my dream crib for this room. But we ended up finding one that was really, really similar and like $150 cheaper, I think. I honestly have no idea where we got it from. My grandfather got it for me for my baby shower. I do keep a blanket or two in there with her while she sleeps. They are thin blankets, so don't go crazy over that. But they are pretty thin. I also keep a couple stuffed animals in there with her. I don't know if anybody else does this, but recently we've been doing the cry it out method, which sounds so horrible, but we realized that in the middle of the night we were getting up an absurd amount of times for like no reason. She would make a tiny little noise or move the slightest little bit and we would be up and in here rocking her trying to get her to go back asleep which was honestly just like waking her up even more. We only let her cry it out for about five, 10 minutes tops. And if she doesn't stop, then we'll go in and soothe her. But I found that having stuffed animals in here and things for her to interact with help a lot with that. So if she wakes up, she has something to do. On top of the crib in the right hand corner 
is a little stuffed animal that one of my good friends got for Kinley. This is so cute to me. A couple days after I found out I was pregnant, my dad and I went to Cabela's and he bought Kinley her very first onesie. She literally only wore it once because I think it's size newborn. So it's very small, but it has a very big place in my heart. So I decided to keep it and display it. And then last thing that's on her crib is obviously her monitor. We got this monitor as a baby shower gift. It is from the brand Motorola. Tried our very best to hide the wire so she couldn't pull it down but she does end up pulling the monitor down sometimes but don't worry because the actual like screen part of the monitor beeps like crazy whenever the camera moves or it's unplugged or anything so we always get notified right away if she ever touches it but let's move on down under the monitor and next to the crib. This basket, which actually doubles as a table, I got from Target and I store all of her blankets in it. This was very expensive for a basket in my opinion. It was like $45 or $50, but I needed this so badly. Every single time I walked into Target or even TJ Maxx had some, my eyes would go straight to the basket. And I literally would be thinking about this for weeks until I finally got it. I think my mom bought it actually, because she was like, I'm sick and tired of hearing you say that you want it and then not buy it so I'll just buy it for you. So in the basket I store all of her blankets which it's kind of a pain to get this open and get all the blankets out so don't really reach for these blankets as much as I feel that they should. There's a crap ton of blankets in here. On top I have another one of my favorite baby pictures of Kinley. I got this frame for $3 at Target as well. I didn't paint it, I didn't do anything. But this picture was taken, I think, the day after she was born. This frame is falling apart, so I do need to get a new one. As you can tell, that's not supposed to be happening. It's just so cute. If you have a baby and you don't have a hatch, what are you doing? The hatch has saved us so many times. If you don't know what the hatch is, it's a noise machine. It also acts like a nightlight if you need one. There are so many different sound options. You can also change the volume. And another cool feature is there is a dimmer for the light. I wish this video was sponsored. It's not, but I just really love the hatch and could sit here for probably an hour and say amazing things about it. It's super easy. It does plug into the wall so you don't ever have to recharge it it's really nice i really like it and it really wasn't that expensive either i think it was like 65 70 dollars but that was also another thing i got for my baby shower next to the hatch i have a fake plant fake plants are my favorite because i can't kill them like i've said multiple times in this video already but i just have little specks of green everywhere in this room so it's very like green gray and pink and i think everything just comes together so nicely you can see it kind of over here in the corner. I have the diaper genie. I try to hide that as much as I possibly can because it's really not pretty. I don't know if I got this for my baby shower or not, but I do know that they sell them at Target. Changing it out is very easy. It's literally just like changing a normal trash can. And I would say that it will contain the smell of the poopy diapers as long as you're changing the bags like very, very frequently, like every other day. I found that if you leave the bag in there for like a week at a time, the whole room is gonna smell, which like makes sense. And you're probably like, why would you leave the bag in there for a week? But it's like if the trash can is not even full, why are you gonna keep wasting the bags? You know what I mean? Let's move on to the dresser right behind me. I used to have a changing pad for her sitting on top of her dresser, but I actually just got rid of that today. I don't remember the last time that I've used it, so it's kind of just been sitting there being an eyesore. So now on top of her dresser, I keep all of her lotions. I have another fake plant. I have a bouquet of yellow wooden flowers, which my mom got for me when I gave birth. It was so sweet. So I kind of just keep those there as a keepsake. And then I also keep a candle, which is never lit. So I don't even know why I keep it there. And lastly, a jar of hair ties, which I use for her. Because if you know my daughter, she has more hair than I do. And it's very, very hard to contain and keep out of her face. So you can never have enough hair ties. On the opposite side of the dresser, I have a fan. It becomes a literal sauna in here. So the windows are always open when it's cool outside. The ceiling fan is always on and we always have this fan on. Oh, Celsius break, am I right? We're gonna move on to the inside of the drawers, but I do wanna warn you that they are not very organized. They were also built kind of wrong, so some of the drawers need a little extra help while opening. In the top drawer, we just keep all of her long sleeve and short sleeve onesies. The middle drawer are all of her pants and shorts. And then the bottom drawer just kind of has miscellaneous things right now, but it's mainly used for her sleep sacks and pajamas. This top drawer stores all of her diapers. I should probably do a restock on this soon. This next one has towels, burp cloths, washcloths, sheets, just random stuff like that. Every single room it needs a junk drawer and this is the drawer 
in her room. I couldn't even tell you what's in here, but let me show you anyways. Well, obviously I can see there's cleaning supplies. We have an extra light in here. Swimmy diapers, storage bags for breastfeeding, which I have not done in over a year. And the bags for the diaper genie and then literally like a light bulb. I don't even know. Random stuff. Over here, I keep another little lamp, which I got at Home Goods, I believe. When I saw this lamp, it screamed at baby nursery. So obviously I had to get it. Clipped on to the lamp over here, I just have a couple more of those fake plants, which I actually did not put those there. I don't know who put those there, but whoever did, it looks nice, thank you. I don't normally keep our sunglasses here, but they are being stored right on top. This little felt storage container has some wipes in it, some paper towels or napkins, just for any cleanup that we need. Some bibs, some more washcloths, really just anything for tiny little cleanups that need to be done. In the taller one of the two, there are five drawers. I couldn't even tell you what we store in these anymore because I never open these. There's only two drawers that get opened quite frequently. The top one just has a bunch of her hair stuff. And then I keep a hairbrush. I have some clips and then I have a little jar with more hair ties in it. The drawer below it just stores some diaper rash cream and some infant pain reliever. And I don't even want to get into the drawers below that because I have no idea what's in it. To be honest, I think they're just more junk drawers. Now to go over to the shorter organizer that only has four drawers in it. The top drawer stores headbands and bows, which we don't ever reach for. I don't think I've ever successfully put a bow in our hair or a headband. The drawer below that keeps all of her socks, which we reach for quite frequently, I'm not even gonna lie. Because once you see her shoe collection, you'll understand. And then below that, there's just some hats and stuff, which we don't reach for it ever and then the last drawer just has some more shoes which i didn't even know were there until i opened it today before i show you the closet do not judge it's somewhat a storage closet it's organized and clean a lot of random things are stored in here she has the smallest closet i've ever seen She's a baby, so she doesn't need a lot, but it is very small. Starting up top, I keep all of her extra bath stuff. Shampoos, conditioners, body washes, lotions, basically all of her toiletries. Possibly my favorite part of the closet are the two middle shelves, which is her shoe collection. Let me tell you, she has a strong collection. She has a couple pair of Jordans, she has Air Maxes, she has a white pair and a black pair. I don't know where the white pair went. They might be in my car. There's a couple pair of Pumas, she has Fila's. Four pairs of Crocs, which might be excessive, but two of them are fuzzy so she can wear them in the winter. She also has a pair of Uggs. They're the cutest ever. She's never worn them yet, but they're very cute. But in the bottom shelf right here, I just store a bunch of unopened extra toys that she has not gotten a chance to play with yet. I don't even know if I will open any of them anytime soon just because she has such a big selection over on the other side of her room. I have a bunch of her clothes hanging up, which I don't know why those clothes are hanging up and the other ones aren't. There's no specific reason, but I do have all of her overalls hanging up, her jackets, some of the more fancier clothing. And then underneath all the stuff that's hanging up, I just store all the extra hangers for if I need to hang up any more clothes. And then I also keep a pack and play in her closet. And you're probably like, why do you need a pack and play when you have a giant crib that takes up 95% of the room? A bunch of my friends have babies and when they come over, obviously their babies need to take naps. So the pack and play is literally just for anybody else who comes over. My one friend's son has probably used that pack and play more than we have. Not saying it's a bad thing, but that's why it's there. The rest of the closet is all storage for diaper changing. So the top drawer, I keep doggy pee pads in there, which so many people used to make fun of me for that, but it's so easy. Like literally so easy. It saves with so much cleanup for messes. In the drawer below that one, I keep a bunch of extra diapers. And as you can see, there are also a bunch of extra diapers up against the wall. We're set on diapers for right now, to say the least. And then on the very bottom shelf, we have loads of wipes. I'm so grateful for everybody who gets wipes and diapers and literally anything for us. But I will say the people who we don't see often, whenever we see them, they just bring boxes of diapers and wipes. And again, I'm so grateful. Like I will take anything that you're giving me but it's like i don't have room if anyone ever needs baby wipes please call me i have a bunch i forgot to show you guys the mat that everything is sitting on that mat is double-sided there is the gray side with like flowers and leaves which is the side that i have facing up just for decoration purposes and aesthetic purposes but if you flip it over to the other side it's like a race car racetrack type of thing so soon enough here once kinley can start like actually understanding things and actually playing i might flip it over to the other side so she can actually interact with it 
And then last thing I want to show you guys is her wall above her dresser. I should have talked about this earlier, but I totally forgot until now. These flowers were such a last minute add-on. This wall was blank for the longest time. I had another baby shower in July with my boyfriend's family, and these flowers were some of the decorations that didn't get used. And I was sent home with a bunch of stuff, and I found those. And I realized that they have sticky stuff on it, so I could literally stick it to the walls. So that's what I did, and it filled up that wall perfectly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If there are any other videos that you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments. I always love making videos for you guys. It's literally my favorite thing. But with that being said, that is everything. If you guys are interested in anything that I have in this room, let me know and I can find a link for it somewhere. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, love you like always.